All right, here we go. Dang it. Hey guys, Brandon with Concealed Nation. I'm here with Kevin with Talon Grips. And if you're not familiar with them, uh, I know I get a lot of questions about it. And he's gonna tell us a little bit about what they have to offer for the concealed carry community. Not a problem. So one of the things that this company has done over the years, since 2008, is be able to increase the ability of a shooter to hold on to whatever platform he is carrying. So anything that's gonna be a provider to that decreases any problems with pulling it out of a holster, no problems with holding it at a target. It just improves the overall differential. So makes it nice. This company also produces a granulate one, but obviously in a concealed nation where you want it to be able to hide away, not hanging up on uniforms, not exposing itself, we've definitely been pushing the rubber and it seems to be working out fine. All of the grips are a single piece of material cut out with a side to fold on, whether it starts here on the left, wraps around and tucks under. It stays in place until you heat it, set it, then it's permanent. When it comes time to pick off, it doesn't leave any residual on the weapon itself. Average lifespan on these things is about two to three years. Again, it depends on what kind of abuse you put it across. If you're doing lots and lots of, of stuff overseas, we've had guys come back that have ended up replacing them over about 12 to 14 months. As a rule though, for something that's sub $20, it creates a pretty significant increase in outcome and ability to utilize it. Uh, the other thing too is uh, ability to hold on to it one-handed is, is improved pretty significantly so that if you're working with other family members, you wanna keep a hand on them and another hand on whatever you're carrying, it enables you to do that. So it kind of changes everything down. A lot of people worry about having having it set properly and if they mess up a little bit, is Absolutely. it easy to pull it back up and readjust? So one of, one of the things with the grip material that's nice is the adhesion doesn't actually activate until it's heated. So you can put this thing on and if you don't like it where it is perfectly, you can tear it all the way off and put it on multiple times. I've gone as high as eight to 10 to get things perfectly in place. I have to. And then once you heat it, it stays on and it's in good position. Okay, excellent. But overall, it's a good product. I mean, we've got guys in the military, federal world, LE world, individual competitors mm -hmm. that have all been kind of jumping on this. They like the contact and the ability to not have any slip. Yeah. So when you're doing any type of multiple shooting, by the time you put out that third round, you're not having to reestablish your grip. It stays yep. right where you it, initiated. It, it's helped my grip quite a bit. Yeah. It makes Absolutely. a big difference, that's for sure. Absolutely. The company right now is producing over 200 different models. So if the companies are making them, they usually end up sending the weapon to us first prior to even releasing it out into the public. Most recent was like, I think the Glock 43. We had it a couple of months before yep. it ever went out into the world. And having that availability and them recognizing that it improves people's performance and their enjoyment of shooting them is actually helping take care of us as well. Absolutely. So it's been kind of win-win around the board. Absolutely. I'm glad you got the Glock 43 ahead of time. We, we, <laughs> we did too. And we, were, we were one of the first to put the review out. Great, great pistol. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you can experience that. Alrighty. So this, this is a granulate grip. Sandpaper-like, except it's very, very thin. Even the old skateboard tapes that were 0.8 to 1.2 mils in thickness that people were putting on were having issues with creating too much thickness with the grip. This is 0.4, so it's less than a half a mil thick. It again provides with a very aggressive hold. The guys that are liking it are the military guys, guys that aren't having to carry things tucked away or concealed. SWAT teams on a thigh rig. Those are all people that have come on board with it. The interesting thing is that if you compare the contact and the ability to increase your grip with the rubber, they're almost identical. Rubber is a sense of ridges. This is a sense of peaks. So what you're really feeling here is only portional. You can take sandpaper and knock this down just a little bit with a 120, and you can knock those peaks a little flatter and it actually creates more of almost the rubber-like contact. But again, it's what people like to feel when they hold on to it. And that's what changes it up. Again, average people are getting about two to three years worth of use, whether they're the granular or the rubber. They're all doing well with it. And uh, can you tell us what they, what they retail for? 
Retail on this product is uh, seventeen to eighteen dollars. Okay. Again, it's the it's that sub twenty dollar item that creates enough of an and uh, improvement in the handling of the firearm that it's well worth it. Sure. When it lasts two to three years, you're coming out to a penny a day. Yeah. It really yeah. isn't that significant. So overall, doing well. Um, it's one of those things that I've tried to encourage high-speed competitors as well as those within the industry that have to carry it daily. For those of us that need to have one, stash it, store it away, rubber takes no modification. So I actually try to encourage that, including with the same people, the police, the federal guys, the, the military that are in civilian clothing. So it's a great product. It's been around since 2008. Had lots and lots of positive feedback over the last couple of years. We've been doing SHOT Show over the last three and NTOA the last two. These are just making huge returns. Guys that are coming up and paying out of pocket when their companies won't, it's a difference. So, one of those things that are win win. Excellent. Excellent. All right, guys, well, thank you, Kevin from Talent Grips. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Thank uh, you so much. Where can they find these online? If they go online and they go to Talon Grips, we'll come right up for them. Okay. That's Excellent. it, talongrips.com. All right. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.